This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. Hello there, I am talking to you. Welcome back to the episode of Rumor Roundup. This is the show where we take all the tech rumors from the week, we smash them, bash them, condense them into one little tech rumor show of awesome for you. So this week we're going to talk about Android 4.3 Jelly Bean showing up in web developers traffic. Sharp is supposedly getting to produce the iPhone 5 desk displays next month. A public preview of Windows Blue is supposed to launch in late June, and HTC is supposedly working on Windows RT tablets. Didn't get the memo, nobody wants them. This is Rumor Roundup, let's go ahead and get started. So Google I.O. is really quickly approaching next week, and we thought it was going to be 5.0 Key Lime Pie, but 4.3 Jelly Bean is trying to show up in traffic reports, which suggests that perhaps we won't see Android 5.0 Key Lime Pie just yet, unless it's being disguised as super hope it is. Google is largely expected to unveil the next version of Android next week during its annual Google I.O. developer conference in San Francisco, so it comes as no surprise that we're seeing early signs of the operating system's existence. Unlike the iOS 7 reports, however, we don't know exactly where the 4.3 devices are coming from, although we imagine it's somewhere in the Mountain View area. And of course, we will be on hand to bring you every minute by minute updates from what happens at Google I.O. So hopefully it's just something else that's being tested, maybe 4.3 for older devices. And maybe we'll see 5.0 Key Lime Pie for something new and fancy. I'm hoping because I want me some Key Lime Pie deliciousness. Supposedly, Sharp is getting ready to begin iPhone 5S display production next month. So Japan Display and LG are also expected to produce the screens for Apple's next gen iPhone. Taiwanese news outlet also noted that Sharp's Kamanawa plant, where production is scheduled to take place, has reportedly noted a huge drop off in performance through lack of demand for its products. When it operates at full steam, though, the plant is capable of manufacturing 600 million display units per month. Apple's iPhone 5S is expected to launch in the fall, and while Apple is denied reports like they always do. So, supposedly, if the stuff starts in June, maybe around the September, October timeframe, you might be able to see the iPhone 5S and maybe iOS 7. Perhaps we'll see all the rumors you've been hearing about the iPhone 5S having fingerprint scanners and all kinds of other craziness in it. But I am hoping just for new OS. So Microsoft said the next version of Windows 8, known as Windows 8.1, but codenamed Windows Blue, will be available later this year. Now the company has gone on total record saying that the public preview will be available by the end of next month. The ZDNet's Mary Jo Foley tried to dig deeper to find out if there will be any new public preview of Windows RT at the same time, and Microsoft chose not to discuss that right now. So I'd guess Windows RT is probably going to go the way of the Dodo, go the way of the Zune and other Microsoft products and get axed. Are we expecting with Windows 8.1 or Blue some form of the start button to return, perhaps not the whole menu? Uh, as well as an option to boot directly to Windows 8 desktop instead of the tile-based metro or modern UI. So neat features everybody wants, but you can already set your computer to do that. You can download tweaks. Uh, they'll bring back the start menu. Of course, you could set things to boot up uh, into regular desktop mode if you want. So hopefully there's something else new that's going to make it in there. But of course, we'll bring you all those updates as they come. HTC R7 and R12 Windows RT tablets supposedly due in Q3. Apparently, the names actually have meaning. Numbers represent the screen size, so a 7-inch tablet and a 12-inch tablet, and the R may stand for the RT version of Windows. So, so far, however, Windows RT devices have been super slow on the uptake as users gravitate towards Android or iOS powered devices. HTC is going to have to convince consumers that that doesn't matter or totally try and change those views. Perhaps a super low price point can be a really compelling start. Phone Arena said the R7 expected to ship with a quad-core Snapdragon 800 clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, 16 gigs of expandable storage, and a 13 megapixel camera and 2 gigs of RAM. So the R12 reportedly is going to pack the same hardware, but a larger 12-inch screen with the 2048 by 1536 pixel display. Apparently, both tablets will eventually hit the market with 4G LTE support, so maybe we'll see them land on carriers with subsidy options. That could be a good way to sort of get them out in the market. Right now, though, HTC is allegedly planning to get the devices on store shelves by October 13th. Keep this in mind, though. HTC exited the tablet market after it launched the flyer and has so far only said that it's watching how others perform before it launches their own. If sales of Windows RT-based devices are any hint, HTC probably shouldn't be jumping on this bandwagon. What do you guys think? Would you want to see an HTC made tablet again? You know, we had the Jetstream, and there's been all kinds of other HTC tablets that didn't do all that well. But if it looked like a bigger version of HTC One, I don't know, I might give it a shot. I want to hear your thoughts. Leave them comments down below. We take a minute to thank our friends and sponsors at Netflix. You know them, you love them, you should definitely be using them. Netflix streams TV shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. In fact, I watched a movie on Netflix over the weekend. As a Netflix member, you can instantly watch TV episodes and movie streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with your game console, so your Xbox 360s, your PS3s, your Nintendo Wii's, or your Nintendo Wii U's. Watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, and the best part is you can just cancel anytime. 
So give it a whirl. Get a free 30-day trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash buffalo and sign up. Use that URL so they know we sent you. Again, netflix.com slash buffalo. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Rumor Roundup. I hope you enjoyed it. I was your host, John Rettinger. Be sure to check us out at technobuffalo.com for the latest and greatest tech news. Give this video a thumbs up. We definitely appreciate it. I'll see you next video. Somebody at the door.